good morning. So this clearly isn't the shag. Uh, we're doing a little bit of a different video today. I have stuff to do. I need to head off and pick something very special up. I'm going to take you guys with me, but there's something I want to talk about while I'm doing it, and that is Christmas dinner. So a little while back, I posted into my Discord group, uh, which is part of my course. If any of the guys were doing their Christmas dinner on the barbecue this year, I've been doing it for quite a few years, I know lots of people do it and it is a great way to get out of the kitchen, cook more in your barbecue, but it's quite a high pressure meeting so some people don't do it. Some of them were doing it, some of them weren't doing it because they were a little bit worried about how it would go. Now, I watch the guys week in, week out, roast big joints of meat on the barbecue, they do big low and slow cooks for hours on the end. And that kind of got me thinking, oh, well why is Christmas dinner any different? Now it's a pretty pressured cook, I understand. Uh, first time I did it I was nervous, but I think that there are a few little tips in there that we can go through that will encourage you to do it this year, and that's the aim of this video, is to get you to cook your Christmas dinner on the barbecue this year. So as I said, I have something very special to pick up today. You guys can come with me. Uh, it is miserable outside, it's raining, but that's only going to last in the morning, apparently. So we'll crack on with it, we'll head off, and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit along the way about why you should cook your Christmas dinner on the barbecue and what you can do to make it a little bit easier for you. The stuff you need to leave the house in 2020 is ridiculous. Just kidding, I don't actually take all of that with me. Let's go. So for me, Christmas dinner and my barbecue, I actually started on my gas barbecue. Uh, didn't have a charcoal barbecue from the first one, and again, gas is a little bit more controllable, so I thought I'll try it on that first. Worked an absolute treat. Really, gas barbecue is kind of similar to an oven. Adjust the dial, just set your temperature, job done. So if you have a gas barbecue and this is your first time, maybe give it a go on a gas barbecue. Coffee in my Yeti mug essential travel items. The next year then I had my charcoal Weber kettle, so I thought right, I'm gonna give it a go on charcoal this time. I have roasted it enough that I can give it a go, set the temperature and put it in there. Did it a similar method, just a traditional roast. Again, worked a treat. There was nothing to be scared of, but going into it I was a little bit nervous cause charcoal fire, quite an important cook, don't want to screw up the turkey on Christmas day, but it was fine. I haven't actually told you guys where we're going. We are heading to Buchanan's Turkeys today to pick up uh, a couple of turkeys for future Christmas cook videos. Now all I have to do is find it. Never been there before in my life. I have a terrible sense of direction. Fingers crossed. Okay, turkeys have been picked up. So I was a little bit busy at the farm. The guys were working with their sheep, so I didn't want to interrupt them too much and uh, poke my camera about. Uh, but it's Buchanan's down in Kilray. If you're down that direction, they have a farm shop which open up, uh, I think it's every Thursday, but I'll leave links below to their website where you can check them out on their social media. So they specialize in free range turkeys. So they do uh, genuine bronze turkeys and whites. They're all free range, they're all processed on the farm using traditional methods, so they're dry plucked and they're hung in a cold store as well. They also hatch their turkeys a little bit earlier in the year, so they have the oldest flock in Ireland uh, come time then to process them, so good quality, nice fat content birds. Uh, that's what you're looking for when it comes to cooking your Christmas dinner. Okay, I fully understand that most of this video has been me just telling you to do your Christmas dinner on the barbecue, which probably isn't that helpful, so I have a few tips that might help you out with it. First one being, do not cook your very first turkey on Christmas day. Now, turkeys are expensive, they're not the cheapest uh, bird you can buy, but you can get uh, inexpensive turkey crowns, which are still a, quite a good chunk of meat and a good thing to practice on. So 100% uh, before Christmas day comes, uh, have a trial run with a turkey crown or a slightly smaller turkey than you plan on cooking on Christmas day. 
realistically, if you can get a large enough chicken, it's pretty close to a small turkey. Uh, so if you've roasted a chicken before, you should be absolutely fine. The other benefit of that is, quite a few of the guys in the group had said that their missus would kill them if they screwed it up, or the missus wasn't quite sure about it. That gives you an opportunity to a, either get your mistakes out of the way or know what you need to do a little bit different but chances are it's all going to turn out fine anyway and that will reassure your better half that uh, things are all going to go fine on Christmas day and you're not just crazy for wanting to cook it in the barbecue so I've picked up the burns I need to run over to my parents house uh, drop one of them off and need to borrow freezer space from her I really need to get a chest freezer in the shack because it does my head in that I can't store meat at my own house uh, so I'm going to head over there, drop them off, and then we're going to head back to the shack to sort of finish this off with the next tip. And with that, we are back at the shack. So, one other tip. I'm going to set you up here. We're good. My last tip is do not put any more pressure on yourself than you have to. Uh, if you've never done your Christmas dinner on the barbecue, do not promise the world. Do not say you will cook the entire thing on your barbecue uh, because that just adds more pressure. If all goes horribly wrong, you're going to end up with nothing to eat. Stick with the meats to start with. For your first year, say I'm going to do the turkey on the barbecue. We'll do the sides and all that kind of stuff in the kitchen. We'll do the turkey on the barbecue. Once you're comfortable doing the turkey, I promise you after the first time you do it, it will be so much less stressful the second year. Then you can do your turkey and your ham the second year. Third year, you might do the roasties as well and the veg and stuffing and get into it. Trust me, once you do it once, you'll want to do it over and over and over again. So don't put all that pressure on yourself by cooking the entire feast on the barbecue. You just choose your meat, either do the ham or the turkey. Preferably the turkey. Uh, ham's a nice one to do, but the turkey is the one that everybody seems to be scared of. So face your fears. The reason you're nervous about it is because you actually care about it and it's a meal that everybody wants to enjoy together. So if you're nervous about it, that's fine. Just get them under control and go for it. So we have our bird. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be doing a couple of different uh, recipes and ways to cook your turkeys. Uh, the two that I picked up today, we're going to do a rotisserie one and we're going to do a spatchcock one. Uh, just to show you a couple of different methods. I have other videos in the channel. I will link the playlist in the description of this video uh, if you want to check them out and they show you how to roast a turkey in the traditional way. If you want to go down the brining method, you can do that. Uh, so we're going to do a couple of different ones this year. So make sure you're subscribed over the next few weeks because we're going to be going over a few of those Christmas recipes. And hopefully this has been enough to convince you to do it. If you are going to do it, message me. Let me know if it's your first time. Any problems you might have or things you're worried about, I'm happy to talk you through them. I've done this quite a few times in the barbecue and it always seems worse than it actually is. So give it a go uh, and I'll do my best to put out a few recipes to make it a little bit easier for you and guides that you can follow along. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Where we're making turkey. <laughs>